Sergeant Prescott, you are hereby promoted to second lieutenant and requested and required to proceed immediately to Minuteman Outpost, OP-02838J, decommissioned, located at coordinates Z6-15.28, there to assume custodial responsibility, maintenance and upkeep of the outpost itself, all ordnance and related facilities and equipment. You are not to interfere with events which do not concern the outpost or its immediate safety. Other staff may be assigned to you as circumstances require an available resources permit. You are to remain at your post until such time as you are relieved or receive direct orders to the contrary. You will proceed in secrecy and will neither reveal to nor approach your destination in the company of another. Signed, Milton Brammer, Secretary of Personnel. Commonwealth Militias. For Arthur McGann, Commanding General. 14 May, 2239. More damn drain. I arrived at the outpost today. At least some of the automated defenses are still online, for one of them tried to kill me. Faulty combat inhibitor, probably. I had to shoot it out in order to get through. That's one more thing I'll have to fix. The access terminal and the codes worked fine, though, and the door opened into an unlit hallway. I must say, I'm impressed. I wasn't provided with technical specifications before leaving the castle, but this place must have cost a fortune. I was expecting a camp in the middle of nowhere, for this is indeed the middle of nowhere. But this place is something else entirely. The outpost consists of a central core supported by and centered in the middle of four hollow towers, each one topped with an artillery emplacement. One enters by way of the inner side of the north tower, climbing flight after flight of unlit stairs before merging into an open space set up to serve as a kitchen and dining hall. Everything is covered with a fine gray dust. Upon ascending to the next level, one finds the outpost administrator's quarters, which doubles as a workspace. There are two doors off the administrator's quarters. One, which I was able to open, was a bathroom. The other remained locked. The next level up is the outpost dormitory. There's another washroom here as well as some more doors I'm unable to open. Everything seems to be running on reserve power and there appears to be an electrical component to the locks. This level is particularly eerie. There are candles throughout the outpost which seems to be permanent fixtures, but while they do burn, they don't appear to be real candles, probably using oil or some inflammable liquid. Perhaps they were activated by my entrance. If not, if they've been burning all this time, the waste boggles the mind. The uppermost level is a greenhouse. There are cabinets but no tools for tending the plants growing here. Indeed, it's obvious they haven't been tended at all, but many of the small trees are still alive, so some form of automatic irrigation is likely. The high ceiling is filled with lights, but as with the other levels, there's no power here. Upon descending from the common level, I found the lounge and armory. Unlike the doors upstairs, I was able to unlock the armory door. To my surprise, the armory was still half-stocked, with the emphasis seeming to have been placed on heavy weaponry. There were still a dozen or so cases which, upon examination, turned out to be portable turrets. There were also bowls on the floor. Perhaps there was once a cat here? I wonder what happened to it when they left. The lower operations level is apparently only accessible by an elevator which doesn't work while the main power is offline. I wonder if that's intentional or a design flaw. I found the fusion, 
fusion generator at the bottom of the South Tower. For some reason, they built that tower's lower level around a pre-war boxcar. I don't understand why they didn't move it, but presumably they had their reasons. I tried to open it, but couldn't. It took a while to restore power, but actually quite a bit less than I thought it would. In fact, I suspect the generator had been in perfect working order all along. With power restored, I was able to reactivate some of the primary defenses. I was a little hesitant to do this, but I was already down one turret that I knew of and possibly others that I didn't. They seem fine, but I don't have any way to make sure. I decided to call it a night. I checked all the doors and everything's locked up tight. I'll do a survey of the west and east towers tomorrow after I see what's in operations. Eldon Prescott, Commonwealth Militia, 22 May, 2239.